Hello, Asti. Hey, my name's Matt, and I'm the opening act for Dana. Tonight, blessed for the opportunity. Because I am the opening act for Dana. I'm like, do you want me to say I'm the opening act for the guy that just went before me? I, I'm the after act for Pastor. Hey, give it up for Pastor, come on. That was awesome. Well, I was gonna play a couple different songs, but then everybody's playing positive songs. I was gonna play a breakup song. No, uh, oh, really? Damn, damn it, damn it. All right. Thank you. God bless you, Dana. You're Dana, right? I could tell. I could tell. All right. So, have you ever gone through a breakup and then the next day you're like, damn it, I should have said that? This song's for you. However, it does have a, it has sort of a antagonistic uh, tone to it. And I do some, say some things that you want to say, but you shouldn't. But in the end, in the end, love's a better way, right? some more keyboards in these uh, monitors. There it is, thank you. Oh, you suit up, you fall out. On beyond a doubt, when you march right through your battleground, targets on the ground. When you've got your quota back, and hungry still the same. Closet back and all your stuff to hang. Ooh, a bargain still the same. So lame, but how does it feel? A big and overrated. How does it feel? Cause when you're wrong, you're wrong. Love's a better way. Yeah. 
Hey, love is a better way. Come on. All right. So this next song, I started writing with a good friend of mine, Neil Burgess. And we were writing a comedy skit together. And so we were trying to write a really funny song. But then he got called off to another place. And I had to finish the song by myself. And what started off funny ended up being just a, just a fun song to me that had so much meaning. And that is, you know, um, it's about, the song is called Being in the Right Place at the Wrong Time. You know, it really is because, you know what? The time is what you make it. So if I'm in the right place and it's the wrong time, I'm going to make it the right time, you know? So, again, started off as a comedy skit, so it, it bear with the jokes. <laughs> Thank you. All 
I love the Samisi setup and original only 90. It just inspired me so much. Thank you. So about uh, five years ago, there was a friend of mine, uh, Devin, they came up to me and he said, it's really weird. I can feel his anxiety. And he was bouncing back and forth and he didn't want to look me in the eyes. And he said, man, my wife's about to leave me. And it's almost Halloween, uh, Halloween. It's almost Valentine's Day. To me, it's the same, sorry. Uh, it's almost Valentine's Day and I don't have a lot of money and I need to do something to save my marriage. Can you write me a song? Well, no, he did that to me. No, he, he did that. He did that to me. And I said, oh my God, there's nothing worse than trying to write songs under pressure for me. I'd like, it freaks me out because this is my fun. This is my creativity time. You want to put a, a deadline on this? It, 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 and your marriage? It, 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 it takes away my fun. And um, I said, I'll do the best I can. And something about his heart posture influenced me. I said, what are you going to do with the song? He said, well, I, don't, I can't take her out to dinner, so I'm going to make her her favorite dinner. And we're going to just do it in our backyard. And then I hope to play her this song as, just can you fix this? And I said, yeah, I'll try. This song is called a, a Table Set for Two. And it's the song of, it's a story of uh, Heather and Devin. So, it goes like this. Sorry, it's kind of hard to play off. Let me, let me try that again. Well, now I'll tell you a tale about a couple in love running the miracle mile. They met in the Navy, they say they were crazy wild. Heather and Deb and they were fizzing apart They were nowhere to be found They landed in Cali, decided to settle down And Heather, she likes attention And a moment of his will do So Devin's got a table set for two Got a job several hours a day, mounting the bills to pay. But they stopped talking, but they both had much to say. Well, Heather and Dave, and they were fit to be tight, but even the ropes were frayed. He had a pocket full of promises the car kept turning away. And Devin, he found complacence, cause living is hard to do. it is I said forgiveness is hard to do
Come on. Thank you. What's that? Oh no, she dumped him like a hot freaking rock. <laughs>